Hi, this is Sharon, and we're going to discuss our second video, which is Money Talk 102, Money Mindset. Having a positive money mindset is half of the battle when you're trying to achieve financial goals. You have to believe that you can do it. You have to believe that you will have the power because you do. Your finances is in your hands and you have the power. You have the control. You are the controller of your finance, whether you make $20,000, $200,000 or $2 million. It's not about how much you make. It's about how much you keep. That is one of my models. And I'm full of models. If you ask my family, friends and clients, I believe that half of the battle is having the correct money mindset. Believe that you can do it. Remember that you are in control of your finances. I have seen people make $50,000, take care of their house, their child, send their kids to college, and still survive to take a little vacation at the end of each year. And I have seen people who make half a million dollars. And because of their money mindset and the way that they do things, they're not even able to take a vacation at the end of the year because they do not manage their money properly. So it's not a matter of how much you make, it's a matter of what you do with that amount and how you're able to control it. You're in control of it. Keep in mind that all of us have different backgrounds and different circumstances regarding on our, our thinking of money and our decisions about money. And But remember that on a day-to-day -day basis, you have control of your finances. You are the one that have the power and the ability to improve your finances, build the wealth that you want starting at any stage. Wealth building starts at three years old, at 30 years old, at 60 years old. The younger you start, the better it off you're going to be. And it has a lot to do with your money mindset. So stop thinking negatively. Stop believing that, oh, I only make this much because so I can't do that. That's not true. One way to have a positive money mindset is to see what you're spending and see what you have. Don't be afraid to look at your picture because understanding your number picture is a way to understand and prioritize your financial goals. So always think positive. Don't think, oh, when I start making this much, that's when I'm going to do this. Or when I start making that much is that, that's when I'm going to do this. I find that when people say that, when they get to that point, they, they're moving the goalposts again. When I start making this much, I'll do this. When I start making that much, I'll do this. No. Live for today. Look at your financial picture today. Decide what you can do with it today. I'm not saying to live above your means. I'm definitely not saying to live below your means. I'm saying to live within your means. So that's, that, that's one of the things that I, ha that, that I believe. Be willing to work for it because you definitely have to understand that it's not something that just happened. Financial wellness is not something that just happened. Just like you need to eat healthy and be responsible for what you put in your body, it is the same idea when it comes to financial wellness. You need to understand what, what you're making. You need to understand what you're spending and why you're spending it. You know, your priorities will depend on what you want. And before you can decide on what your priorities are, you need to know what you're doing right now. And the one way to do that is to track your spending. Track your spending and track your income. Know how much you're spending on Starbucks every month. Know how much you're spending on your cable bill. Know how much you're spending on those subscriptions that you have that are coming out directly out of your credit card and you're not even using it. Those are little tips that th there are so many things when you look at your financial picture that you're paying for that you don't even need and you did not even realize that you're doing it because you're not looking at your picture. 
So be, be willing to spend some time and work at what you're doing. Set aside some time every week to look at what your spending habits are. Look at every charge that's being charged on your credit card. Be aware, be vigilant, and keep track of what you're doing. I am not telling you not to spend. I'm just say, telling you to know what you're spending it on. And then you have control on, and of what you're spending is that what you want to be spending. Do you want to spend 400 bucks on Starbucks um, every month? That's, that's going to be your choice, but now you have control. You can see how much you're spending on Starbucks and you get to decide if that's okay with you, if that's one of your priorities. So you need to prioritize. When you're prioritizing, sometimes people don't understand what priority means. Priority means you have a list. You have the top number one on your list, and then you can have number 10 on your list, number 20 on your list, wherever it is. Obviously, we can we prioritize by moving things. Sometimes number one becomes number five and number five becomes number one. For example, I'll give you about me. When I first started working, one of my um, main number one priority was getting a new car or getting a car. In my day, it was always a new used car. And that was number one on my priority list for spending, for, for saving is getting a new, is saving for a new car so that was number one as time goes by you're saving for college college becomes priority number one and car moves somewhere else housing once you've achieved your house you've received your house then that moves from your list to a different priority so there's one thing that should always be on your priority list though and we will discuss it in detail in another video but retirement savings. Once you start working, retirement sa savings should be on the priority list. Where on the priority list will depend on you, but it should be a number on the priority list. I cannot stress that enough to young people. I wish that someone had told me when I started working at 15, 16, 17 years old, even 18 years old, even at 25 years old, that you should prioritize retirement savings. But, you know, been there, done that. And you, you, the next thing that you should be looking at is, you know, what was your past experience? What have you done in the past that you regret doing? You know, when I was younger, the college credit cards were giving away to all the college students. No one told us that this debt was bad for us, that we were taking out credit cards and we don't even have jobs. So that was a mistake that I made. For me, I wouldn't call that a mistake. I would say a mistake learned from is not a mistake, it's a lesson. So, and lessons are blessings. So I definitely would think that um, that was a lesson and you won't do it again and then it becomes a lesson, not a, not, not a mistake. So you wanna think that way. Also, when you're thinking about your priority list, you know, there are some things on your priority list that are short term and then there are some things that are long term. You need to decide that you need to decide which one is long term, which one is short term. The last thing I want to tell you is that someone else's success does not mean that you're losing out. What I have learned in my life and I'm a faithful person is that there is enough for to go around for everyone. That's why I'm, I'm making these videos and I'm giving this, these advice. There's, there is enough that is provided in the world for everyone. All of us can learn from what's happening. We can learn from people that are making mistakes. If we're smart enough, we learn from other people's mistakes and we don't make those mistakes. Sometimes we have to make those mistakes in order for us to learn, but that's okay. As long as we learn from them, there are lessons. So, Last but not least, I, we need to adopt an abundant mindset. We need to adopt a mindset that is open to looking at our number picture. And once we start looking at our picture, once we start tracking what we're spending, I say start with one month. One month, track what you're spending. Track what you're spending on everything, everything that comes out. It's real easy to track your spending these days on your bank app and your credit card apps. It's really easy to do that. So 
you know, go ahead and track your spending and look at your picture because you're in control in control of your picture and the picture is what's going to tell you where you is going to tell you what where you were and then you're going to decide on where you want to go what your priorities are again please click on the bell to subscribe to my channel and click on the link below if there's questions that you would like for me to answer on future videos thank you bye